This is the oldest cemetery in the city of Burlington. It dates back to the Revolutionary War. A lot of the Revolutionary War veterans from this area are buried here, as well from the Civil War and on up. I think the cemetery was closed about the 1920s, 1930s. The VFW used to hold their Memorial Day parade down here, marching to here. Starting at the top, starting halfway up North Street here and marching into here. I remember, I have some pictures of it. I'm not sure where they did the honors though. I haven't found the Revolutionary War veterans' graves yet. There's graves scattered throughout here that date to the late 1700s, early 1800s. So, and I think some of the soldiers who were at Battery Park might be buried up here also. There's my bike again. I'm on my bike. This is the storm damage from the last storm that came through last week. It has fallen on a lot of the old graves. It doesn't look like it's damaged a whole lot of them. Still, it's going to be a job take them away. I see he's uprooted one right there and there's another one there and there's one over there and these are old old graves. It's a huge tree it's been here for quite a while and I think this is the tree that was in my picture taken in the 1950s. Come to look at it there's the uh, Looks like the headstone over here, or the monument that they stood by to render honors. So we'll see what's going on here. As you can see, there's some old gravestones have been knocked down. I don't know if you can see the birth date on there, 1796 to 1868. 1864-1795. So this is the older part of the cemetery. This must be, I think this is where they render the honors. Hawk and Suwabs, New York Volunteers. He is a uh, Civil War veteran here. The stone has sunk down some. Okay. Some of the others. She died 1811. I don't know how good this shows up in here. It's kind of faded. Eighteen twenty-four to nineteen twelve. So she's one of the older ones. Or younger ones I should say in a graveyard here. These are pretty well faded out. Mm -hmm. Age 80, born 1776. Okay, I'm going up here. Died 1838, it says, age 23. 1832. Age 12, 24. Okay, it looks like there was an epidemic back then, which happened in Burlington and the other towns quite often. Give gives a whole family history there. Okay. Captain Powell Devings, born Lyme, Connecticut, 1749, died Hartford, Connecticut, April 9, 1795. Nurse Petrie, he enlisted in the Continental Army at the Lexington Alarm, Lexington Alarm, April 1775, and served with distinction through the war 
for American Independence. He was an original member of the Society of the Cincinnati. Whatever that is. So this is the uh, this is the gravestone or monument that the VFW rendered honors to back in the 50s. Okay, so I found it. This his whole family is here. And this is the tree and the trees that the color guard stood under and the firing squad stood under and there was a fence around here. So I have found it. The tree missed it, which is good. So that spot right there was where the Air Force firing squad stood, honor, honor, honor squad, over here or by here, where we were the VFW squad stood color guard, and my father stood probably right about here as they rendered honors. I have the picture. There was a uh, iron fence around here at that time, so looks like they've uh, they picked it up, or because it's been over 50 years.